What's up guys, Corvus95 here and welcome to episode 53 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Isle series. So in the last episode, we unfortunately went two losses, one victory. We technically had two victories, but I didn't count the Omas Star battle, because I only took out two of my opponent's Pokemon, I believe. So that didn't count towards the total. So let's go on battle number one. Hopefully we'll find an opponent pretty quick. Quick we do is an Excadrill against my Rampados. So he's gonna outspeed me, and I'm pretty sure he can take me out in one hit. So I have to switch, and I don't have a Q either, so let's go Quagsire. Quagsire. Why did I pronounce it Quagsire? Quagsire. Alright. Quagsire comes out, he goes for the Iron Head. Let's go for the Scald. Or the EQ. EQ is more powerful. My physical attack is more, so let's go EQ. What's he going to predict? Is the question. Is he going to predict the one move? Or. No, he didn't. He predicted the. Well, I'm not sure what he predicted, because even Scald would have done a lot to a Beedrill. So I'm guessing his Mega is down. Brings out Tangrowth. So we have to switch. Let's go out into... Articuno. Leech Seed. Sleep Powder. Good play. It's Hurricane. We sleep for the first turn. He gets a Rock Slide off. It is Rock Slide Tangrowth. I think we'll just let Articuno go down if we wake up. Nice. We do wake up. We get off a Hurricane. Take out the Tangrowth. Very good. We got a bit lucky there. With only the one turn of sleep. So he has a Dug Trio. Let's go Freeze Dry. He goes to the Stone Edge. Kills Articuno. That's fine. Let's go out into Quagsire. Let's go for the Scald. He goes out in the Heliolisk. He's gonna have Water Absorb or Dry Skin. I'll go for EQ. Goes out in the Mill Tank. EQ does a decent amount. Let's go for the Encore, force the switch, so now we can go EQ, he brings out Heliolisk, it goes down to EQ, very nice, goes down to Mill Tank again, let's go for a Toxic this time, So he's going for body slams, he forfeits. I'm going to count that ball because Quagsire was doing really well and we had five Pokemon left. Let's go on to ball number two. So we pick up one win there. So this isn't a good matchup in any way. Let's go out into Heracross. Yeah, let's go for the Heracross. We avoid, we wouldn't have taken much damage anyway. Let's go for the Mega Horn. Take out the Roton. Very nice. I'm guessing he was going for Volt Switch. That would be what I think he would have went for there. So we're Moxie boosted, so we've got the Moxie. We've got the plus one attack. So whatever he brings in is going to take a plus one Mega Horn from a Heracross. So let's see what he wants to bring in. I'll bring you back when he makes a move. Okay, so he brought in Raticate. Let's go for another Mega Horn. Take out the Raticate, very nice. We're now plus two attack, and he forfeits. Heracross was going to sweep, let's be fair. 
So this is going to be an extremely short, but this is going to be an extremely short episode because at the minute we've won two matches in five minutes. Right, you go down to Megahorn every time because you're four times weak to it. You don't go down to it if I miss. And I go down to Super Power. No, I don't. You should still go down to it. You do. Very nice. So Escavalier took a lot more damage than I wanted it to. But it got rid of the Malamar, which is a potential big threat. Let's go start timer. Brings our Sunflora, which is going to kill me. But that's fine. That was Hidden Power Fire or Hidden Power... Yeah, it must have been Hidden Power Fire. I can't think what else he would run that would be super effective. Let's go for the... He could have Earth Power. We have Speed. Let's go for the... Oh, if he sets up Chlorophyll, that's a problem. Let's go Nasty Plot. Earth Power's coming my way. If I can live one, very nice. Let's go for Fire Blast now. Take out the Sunflora. Just thinking, if he had been Focus Ash, that would have been a big problem there. So Fire Blast takes him out. I would prefer Flamethrower on this set, because that's a big, big problem. Okay, Hidden Power Rock. Yes, Quick Attack, we live it, so Staraptor's going down. We go down to Life Orb, that's fine. We got rid of Staraptor, so we're 4-3 up at the minute. We don't really have anything powerful though, like extremely powerful. Let's go Polyrath. He bleeds with Volbeat, or he brings out Volbeat. Let's go for the Scald. He's going to T-Wave us. He gets Scald off, it does a decent amount. Scald again. What's he going to do? Bug Buzz doesn't do much. Can our Scald have come and get a burn? No? Okay. We could go Circle Throw. Let's rest. Get rid of the Paralysis. Now we can go Sleep Talk. He subs up. Oh, I got rest. That's really bad. Let's see talk again. Goes for the bug buzz. Does 10%. What are the chances? Come on. I get rest. Well, it's 33% chance to get rest. Let's go for the scald now. We're going to wake up. Break his sub. Now we can Scald again, he T-waves us, we Scald, he goes down to enough where we can kill him next turn. Circle throw, throw should kill with the burn. It does it without the burn, so that's nice. So we're minus special defense at the minute and on about quarter speed or something like that. So is he going to try and set up? Let's circle through. Get him to switch out. So he switches out to Porygon Z, gets a special attack boost. We are going down to a Thunderbolt. Okay, this is a problem. He has a Porygon Z out. He took damage, so he has Life Orb. Let's go for the Sudowoodoo. We have an Air Balloon. Let's go for the Sucker Punch. Wow, that didn't do much. At this point, let's go for an EQ. Predicting the switch. Question is, is he Guts? Well, he's not Mold Breaker, so yes, he is Guts. Let's EQ again. He circle throws, switches us out into Dridagon. 
what I would have wanted to come out. Let's outrage. Take out the throw. And we... Do we get outsped? Yes, we do. So we go down to an ice beam. Oh! Venomoth come out. Go for a... Bug Buzz. Sludge Bomb. Actually, we outspeed. Take out the Paragons. A good game to my opponent. So, a very short battle, guys. But a very short episode. But if you've enjoyed, drop a like. We've got three victories. Or, yeah, three victories. Zero losses. And my kind of underpowered team actually came through very well there. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And from me, Corvus95, thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.